Hello guys, you are welcome to this video. In my previous video, I discussed and explained what is database mirroring, the full explanation of database mirroring. Now, we want to dive into the practical and real explanation, real process of database mirroring. Okay, so the first steps in creating a database mirroring. So to create a database mirroring, the first step is you create a full backup and transactional backup of the principal database. Okay. Now, in my previous video, I've discussed that we need two data, two server, or two server, or two instance rather, <clears throat> to achieve our database mirroring. Okay. Here, I'm going to be using this first server as my principal database, which is the main database, right? Now, this second database will be used as the mirror database. That is, this server is the main server. It is the production server that the company is using. Let's assume uh, Microsoft has their database here <clears throat> and they want to do the backup or they want to give it an high availability and disaster recovery model. Right? So, in case of any disaster, they want their database to still be available for use. Okay, so now that's where we come across what we call mirroring. <clears throat> now, what are the steps again? I said you create a full backup and transactional backup of the principal database. So, this is my principal database. Microsoft DB is my principal database. This is my principal server. Why this is this database that I want to use for my mirroring? Okay, so I want to I want to do a full backup task, then go to your backup, then click on full backup. You see there, full backup is there. Then I want to change this. I'm going to change it to another. Um, that's the destination where I want to back it to where i want to save the file the backup file so i'll remove this i want to add my own location click on this okay so but i <clears throat> i want to back it up inside this mirroring i want to back it inside, inside this mirroring click on it right so then name it i'm going to name it as um microsoft microsoft db full dot bak that's the extension for full backup click on ok click on ok right so i click on ok then ok then i click on ok good so the back of the, the backup of database microsoft db completed successfully so click on ok then the next step is set and transactional backup okay we need to do the transactional backup also task backup then go to um, click on okay now so click on remove this remove then add so i want to use i want it to be stored in the mirroring um, folder so I have my full backup already, so I need my transactional backup. So I can rename it as what Microsoft DB transaction T log dot TRN. That is the extension for backup for transactional backup. So click on OK, then click on OK then click on ok good the backup of database microsoft db completed successfully so then you click on ok so now the next thing from our from our steps we said transactional backup on the mirror server so as i said the other time this is our principal server why this is our, um mirror server this is our mirror server all right so i want to mirror this microsoft db here so the next thing is to what create restore 
your backup in the mirror server. So I want to restore. How do I restore? If I click, I click on databases, click on restore database. Then, okay, so I think it's loading. It's going to show up now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Click on devices, click on these three dots to search for the location. Add. Right, so okay, so let me get the exact folder. Let me get the exact folder. Let me close this. Let me close this. Let me close this. So, the exact folder where I want to back up my file, where I'm backing up this is it here. So, I'm going to copy the path onto C. Right, if I copy the path. Then, if I want to restore, right click, restore database. Good. So then, click on devices. This three dots is going to search for the location where you where you want to back up from. So click on add. Okay, it's loading. And then paste that fi file part here so then click on ok ok it's not going so i need to make it as a share folder share folder i need to share the folder for it to be able to um be seen at the second um server so sharing share this folder to everyone so i'm sharing to everyone good good and right then click on share click on done so you copy this five parts right click copy close then i've copied the five parts so go back to your database restore database Click on device, click on these three dots. Click on add, then paste the file part again. Enter, press enter, it's going to show it to you. Good. So I want to back up my full backup and the transactional backup. I select the two by pressing, holding the control key and clicking on it. So then click on OK. So this is the backup I want to, this is the file that I want to back up. I want to restore that. Click on OK. So if you want to restore it, you are going to restore it on no recovery. Restore with no recovery. So database mirroring, restore on what? No recovery. So click on OK. So go to file. You can click, click on locate all files to folder. So then click on options okay we've done that then click on okay good so our database is in progress database microsoft db restored successfully so now you just see it here. so if you right click on it good it has come so microsoft db is on restoring right now let's the next thing is what configure the database memory on the principal server how do you configure it configure it on the principal server don't forget you want to um do microsoft db right you want to mirror microsoft db right click on it task go to mirror configure security next click on next so do you want to configure security to include a witness server instance yes because i have a third server here which is this so this is, is going to serve as my witness server as i explained in my previous video i said the witness server is serve, serve as a monitor to monitor it's going to monitor the principal server and the mirrored server okay so now let's go back to our this so click on yes click on next witness server instance so click on next these are those these are the things we want to configure right so click on next we want to configure the principal server mirror server and the witness server click on next 
this principal server instance. So if from this from the steps I said configure database mirroring on the principal server. So that's what we are about to do now. So principal server instance. So it has been configured. You can next automatically. So then the next one is SQL 2 You connect to it. Good. So the principal. So this is the mirror server, right? So it's trying to connect. Good. You click on next. Now the witness server should be our third server. So connect. Make sure you connect to the right um, account. If you are using the Windows authentication, connect with Windows authentication. If you are using the SQL Server authentication, connect with the SQL Server authentication. So click on OK. Connect. So this is going to leave the end. We are going to see our next button appear now. Good. So click on next. Now we have this here, the principal service account for the following instance. Now how do you get your service account for the following instance? For the instance. So the service account, if you go to your configuration manager, SQL Server configuration manager, this is your service account. SQL slash SSMS. So your service account might be different from this make sure you use the one you have here okay so let me go to my sql ssms so i have the same service account for the facebook server the mirror server and the witness server so click on next good so complete the wizard verify so this is just showing you what you are you wanted to do right so these are the actions that does so click on finish okay so it's configuring the endpoint success X endpoint Facebook server success mirror server is success then witness server also the status is success so click on close start mirroring good okay so that's the process of configuring your database mirroring now let's check our database and see what we have there. Okay, so now you can click on OK. Okay, good. So now from here you are going to see from our principal server, you are going to see that the database Microsoft DB is on principal SQL knives. Now if you look at the mirror data server, we are going to see okay let's reload this let's refresh this and see what we have we are going to see that we are going to have a mirrored database we have a principal database already so this is a mirror so in database mirror you are going to see principal synchronized and mirror synchronized now how do you know if this okay let's let me move to the next step so we have started the mirroring now how do you test the mirroring process using a manual failover and a failure of a server so let's let me use the manual failover first now take note of this you will see that the principal server is on the um this um, principal is on this sql01 which is my main server the mirror is here so i'm going to do a failover right click on this mono failover task mirror click on failover click on yes good so let's refresh this if you refresh it you are going to see it is mirrored now why this one will become what the principal this is going to become the principal good so definitely if there is a if is a failure here this principal is going to become what this server the mirror server is going to become the principal automatically now let me use another method for us to confirm if this is working truly okay now let's assume okay let me go back let me go back to right click and click on task mirror then failover it's loading i'm going to click on failover now so if you, if you click on failover 
you see a failover database mirroring we swap the roles of mirror and principal database click on yes okay now let's refresh if you refresh this you are going to see that it's going to change to mirror then if you refresh this also you are going to change it's going to change to the principal so now here yeah, I've used the manual failover. Now let's use a failure of the server. Now in case if our server fails, so if I want to fail my servers, just any failure can happen. If I want to fail it, I can stop the server. As I stop the server, you can see this server is running. So if I click and stop, so I won't be able to have access to my server again, which is the principal server. Now, if you write, if you will refresh it, if you refresh this principal server, let's refresh. Okay, I think it's still stopping. Good, it has stopped, right? My server has stopped. So the server will stop working. If you refresh this now, you will see that it's not loading, it's not refreshing. So you can see it has a field, it said fail to retrieve data for this request, right? So there is an error. So that means there is a failure in this server. Okay, so but if you go to this, if you refresh this, you are going to see it's going to become the principal server. Principal. Good. So that is the that is the way of what the process of database mirror mirroring. If you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button below, like the video, and share for better reach. Thanks. If you have any question, also you can comment in the comment section, and I'm going to give you a reply. Thank you.